him as always because he, she got no sleep and going on the Disney lullaby and of course this is my life it's my life um, and stop paperwork submitting all these requirements that I need to do for Christine um, fighting for services as usual right now I'm at the same time I'm washing clothes I am preparing myself because uh, I'm taking her to a cardiologist um, she has some issues with her heart rate, so we need to see a specialist. I have to tell you that it's been really tough, but just have to hang in there. That's all I can do, right? You see, I... I am washing clothes. So I'm just waiting for this to finish and I'm gonna hang it. It's a beautiful day. I really wanted to go out but I can't go out because my daughter is sleeping. I hope it's okay to vent. I just have to breathe. It's been really tough. I wish there's an end on this pandemic. I'm very confused if I will allow my daughter to return to school, especially with what's going on with her condition. And at the same time, fear over getting this virus because it's not getting better, it's getting worse. I wanted to be able to work and at the same time work not having to worry about her. I'm just grateful that she's been so strong. I just feel I needed to vent out. <laughs> I miss my daughter so much. I really do. <laughs> we used to dance. We used to sing. We used to play together. She talks to me. <laughs> We dressed up, we play dressed up. She loves dressing up. <laughs> now I have to do everything for her. <laughs> it is just so heartbreaking. <laughs> I just miss Christine so much. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. 
Sometimes I question myself that I did something wrong. <laughs> I also miss my son being here. Me. But he has to go back to school. why I hate other parents who complain about their life with their children. They don't really understand what we've been going through as parents with special needs like my daughter and also for those with epilepsy. Epilepsy sucks so much. I wish this uh, <laughs> Cure for epilepsy. <laughs> I hate it whenever I give my daughter medication. <laughs> I just feel it's too unfair. <laughs> for her to take this all medications. Just pray for miracles every day. Okay, guys. Thank you for listening. And I just really hope you can help us spread this awareness. Autism and epilepsy awareness. Because this is really real. <laughs> It wasn't easy. <laughs> it gets harder and harder when they get older. <laughs> I just really wanted to get a break. That's all. Especially Christine. <laughs> you know she may not tell me, but I know she's very tired. I wish she can live like a normal, you know, like any other as a, of her age. But, Kristen, mommy will not stop helping you. Mommy's always here. I will never get tired. a big sacrifice for me to leave my job but I I cannot choose between my child and my career this is the second time I did this and I will do it again whenever she needs me I, thank you guys I'm sorry if I bent here but I think this is the only way I can Get it out of my chest. It's been overwhelming. I really don't know what this sleep means because I never sleep. <laughs> Everybody thinks, how would I survive? I guess it's God's giving, given strength to me. My husband and my daughter. I am just very grateful to God every day for giving me the strength and grace and for always strengthening my faith because I'm not losing hope. I know that it will get better. Okay, stay safe everyone. Be well. If you like to join us on this journey or follow us please share like and subscribe take care bye